Zero at PG Zone HD, and welcome to our ninth final blind box video for this year. In today's video, we're going to be opening up a total of 13 items, including 11 blind boxes and two Kinder Joy chocolate surprise eggs. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up the Spongebob blind box first. And we actually are still missing a few of the different Spongebobs. We have not gotten the Scaredy Pants, we have not gotten the Idiot Box, and I think we're still missing one of the two, or maybe both the Mermaid Mans. I can't remember if we got one of them. But yeah, we're still missing quite a few, and we've opened well more than half the case, so we don't have a lot left. And we got a new one. What a great way to start off today's video. So we got the Scaredy Pants, who's a 2 and 24. And I absolutely love how they made him like fabric. And they didn't give him a face. Oh man. I was sitting there wondering if we take that off, if he's gonna have like a face underneath, and he does not. So <laughs> definitely wanna leave this on. Kind of a weird blank SpongeBob. I guess if you wanted to make your own SpongeBob face, this would be the one to do it with. But there you go. There is, you know, I was getting ready to say there's our scaredy pants. I was looking at his legs, and he's got these Wizard of Oz shoes on. So <laughs> that is such an awesome figure. I love, 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 love that SpongeBob. All right, so moving on along, let's go ahead and open up our DC Comics. This is the Kid Robot mini series. Here's going to be a look at some of the figures. We are still missing the one that I keep talking about that I want to see the Harley Quinn, who is a 1 in 20. One of the harder to collect figures. I have a feeling we're going to get her today. So this. This specific blind box was made, I don't know, it doesn't have a date. I want to say it was 2016, 17 maybe. Let's see what we get, if I can get this thing opened up. And this definitely feels like a pretty big figure. So let's see what we got inside of here. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew we were going to get Harley Quinn. All right, so this is going to be our 1 in 20 Harley Quinn figure. She looks a little strange now that I see her up close. She, she, her face, the actual design of her face, like her structure of her face makes her look a little odd. <laughs> she looks kind of like, more like a mannequin than an actual Harley Quinn. Quinn, but I love the color design on this one. Really bright blue and red. Love this figure. I love the design of this. Even though her face looks a little strange, I really do like this figure. And the bottom of it just says Kid Robot and DC Comics. So nothing really special on the bottom of her feet, but there you go. There is a Harley Quinn that we have been searching for for quite some time. Next up, we have the Kaiju Dunning Battle. This is going to be one of my more favorite Kid Robot series. Definitely probably my favorite newest Kid Robot series. And inside, let's see, this feels like a really small figure. In fact, this one is in pieces. Hmm, I'm actually, I'm trying to figure out who this might be before I open it up. I don't know. This one feels very strange, whatever it is. It's the giraffe. Okay, so definitely, you know, I really honestly thought this figure was going to be a lot bigger than this. And man, does he have a creepy face. Let's go ahead and get him put together real quick. And, <laughs> oh wow, this is not at all what I expected it to look like. So he's right here. He's a 3 and 48. He's a common. I was actually... I mentioned it was either the last video or the one before that that I wanted to get this figure and now that I have him he's you know I really was hoping he was going to be bigger than this and he's kind of small even though he's like got this really long head his head is actually just tiny look at the size of his head compared to my finger right there it's kind of a, a small head but since he's got this really creepy Cheshire cat smile it's probably a good thing that his head is that small but uh, definitely does not look anything like a giraffe now that I've seen him up close wow that is a creepy figure but we've definitely started off with some really good stuff in today's video definitely a lot better start than our last one all right so for our next item, we have a Labbit, and we got an absolutely hilarious Labbit in the last video. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen, and out comes a dog bowl. How strange is that? So, the dog bowl was actually on the outside of this sealed package. That's very, very odd. Let's see who we get today, and it looks like, what's the name of this dog? This is the Sheepdog, who's a 4 and 40 and he's got the little tongue sticking out like a lot of the other Labbits. Definitely doesn't have 
a little added accessory that the last one had. And here's gonna be a look at our dog with his dog food bowl. And if you did not get to see the last video and you're a fan of the Labbits, it is definitely worth going and checking out that one specific blind box in that video because it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen come out of a blind box. All right, so next up we have the Yummy World keychain. Here's gonna be a look at some of the different figures. This is Kid Robot, there it is. It's real small right there. It's almost like they didn't want you to know that <laughs> this is made by Kid Robot, which is strange because this is a really cool set, but it's actually it's really small right there too. But if I had to pick one for today, I, I kind of like to see the peanut. The kiwi is probably my favorite one from this series. The kiwi or the cherries, I loved both of those. Let's see what we get for today. Really, really low on this blind box too. Looks like we got a stick of bacon. <laughs> so the bacon is right there. This is one of the more unusual things that you can get out of a blind box. It is a piece of bacon with the Kid Robot logo on the back. You know, if you had that on your keychain and you were to pull your keychain out and sit on the counter, this would definitely get somebody's attention. They would go, what in the world is that on your keychain? <laughs> it is a piece of bacon. All right, so next up, we have the Disney Vinylmation Mickey's Wild West. Here's gonna be a look at some of the different figures. We did get the one I was really wanting to see in the last uh, blind box, but today, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing Donald Duck again. We've opened most of this case. There's only a few of these left. So we're really low on this case as well. We've opened and seen most of them, but today it looks like we got Horace Horse Collar is the name of this one. Kind of a funny name for a figure. It's very, um, it's very bright and colorful. I love the design. They put a lot of detail in his mouth and his teeth on this one. You know, the only bad thing about these uh, Vinylmations, if you were to spin his head around, you'd get like the half of his mouth right there and it just, it looks so strange. Very, very strange. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to figure out what is going on right here. It looks like he's wearing some sort of mask, almost like he's wearing a mask on his mouth. I'm thinking maybe that was supposed to be the bandana or something, but definitely looks kind of odd. All right, so moving on along, we have a Marvel Vinylmation. This is series number two. We did do that entire Marvel video not too long ago, and we opened quite a bit of these. Let's go ahead and get today opened up. If I had to pick one, I would really love to see Venom today, but let's see who we get. I think, I want to say this might be the last one of these that I have for that series. I could be wrong, but it looks like we got maybe Bolt. What is this? Electro. Okay, so, you know, I, I was sitting there thinking of, I think his name's actually Black Bolt, but today we got Electro. And I'm trying to get his lightning bolt in his hand without tearing him up. <laughs> so that's about as good as I can do with that little bolt of his. But very cool figures. Very, uh, very bright yellow colorful. Certainly one of the nicer figures from this set. I definitely loved the Spider-Man and the Mysterio from this series. Very, very nice two figures. All right, so moving along. We have a series that we're probably going to get a duplicate out of, but here's going to be the Agretsuko. Here's going to be a look at some of the figures. We've gotten most of these. We're still missing Director Time. We're missing the Kai Kabai. And we are missing the Rage Panda that's on this side. So our odds of getting a duplicate are very, very high. And we got a new one. Wow, we are on a roll today. So. This is going to be the Kabai. I don't even know how to say that. The 2 and 24, the very, very happy hippo looking character. It's like a pink hippo. And these, of course, are supposed to be like office animals that apparently have gotten a job maybe at a newspaper and she works there for them. <laughs> I don't, it's so silly. I don't know if Agretsuko is maybe like an anime cartoon or something. If not, they pretty much just made up something to make these really crazy looking characters. All right, so next up we have the Robotech series. We are still missing the guy that's up here in the corner. We have not gotten this one. So let's see what we get today. This one feels kind of heavy, so I have a feeling it's not gonna be that one, and it is actually, it is that one. <laughs> okay, so we got the one that we were missing, wow. And I'm trying to see, does he have a helmet inside of here? 
Apparently not. So again, yet again, the figures that it shows, it showed this one holding a weapon, which he does not. And this one, it shows wearing a very cool helmet, which he is not. It does not come with the helmet. It's actually, it's really disappointing that he did not come with a helmet, but this is a very well-designed figure. It says on the back, 1985 and 2014, he looks like he's about to do like a Bruce Lee karate chop on somebody, but if you look, really look closely at his eyes, they did a really, really nice job with his face and his eyes. So I love his hair, I love the design of his face. So, you know, this isn't a complete loss, but I really wish he would have had that helmet as an accessory. That would have been pretty cool. All right, so moving along, we have a blind box that I am absolutely certain that we are gonna get a duplicate today. So we are missing Moki and Boober. Those are the only two we're missing, but this specific blind box feels really light. So I am almost 99% sure we are gonna get one of the uh, dozers on the side there. I, am, I would bet everything on this table that this is a dozer and and it is <laughs> so all right so we got uh the cotter pin dozer which is right there in the corner she is a three and 24. you know if you see these in the store this fraggle rock kid robot blind box if you pick these blind boxes up if it's heavy then it's most like the heaviest one is probably gonna be red if it's light, then it's most likely gonna be one of those guys. If it's like a medium weight, then you're probably gonna get one of these guys right here. So you can kind of get a pretty good idea what you're gonna get inside of this blind box just by the weight of the box, which is actually pretty cool. All right, so next up we have the Vinylmation Nursery Rhymes series. Here's gonna be a look at some of the figures. We've gotten, I think, all the figures in this series, I believe. This is also another case that we are running down to the very, very end. <laughs> Our final few videos is going to be completing every case that I have. There will be no blind boxes left unopened by the time I finish these last few videos. So today, <laughs> okay, we got... This uh, mother goose right here who comes with an accessory that just fell on the floor. There we go, now we got her little hat on. So she's right there on the end. She's first row all the way at the end. Very nice looking figure. This entire set right here, the nursery rhymes were really well done. It's one of the better Vinylmation sets. Definitely better than a lot of the urban stuff that they've done <laughs> and the, the normal series. But there you go, there's Mother Goose. Now we have two Kinder Joy eggs. We have a new one and we have an old one. So. This one right here is actually edible. This one is not. So this one expires, wow, I can't, okay, 2015. So this one is a few years old. Let's see what we got inside of our first Kinder Egg. We got Captain America. <laughs> so I'm gonna get his stickers put on. We'll take a better look at him. So here we go. Here's our Captain America all stickered up with his little sticker shield and this little thing right here. I absolutely cannot stand the way they designed his face on this one. This guy, the way they designed his mouth, it almost looks kind of like a Donald Trump mouth. They really just butchered Captain America with this one. And for some reason, he's like looking up into the sky. He's not even really looking like forward. So no idea what he's looking at or why he seems to have just eaten a bad burrito. So there you go. There is a Captain America for you or what's supposed to be a Captain America. Next up, we have a Kinder Joy egg that is actually new. This one is best eaten by November of 2019. So this one I am gonna munch on as soon as the video is over and we are guaranteed to get a newer toy inside of here. And inside we got this thing right here. So it's a bunch of little pieces that I'm gonna get put together and we'll see what it does. So after following the directions, we come up with this little contraption right here. And essentially all this is is you squeeze this together and it shoots out this little tiny disc that can't really go that far, unfortunately. Some of the other ones of these that they make, these things will really fly across the room, but for some reason this one is a little disappointing. It really doesn't go that far. 
And so before we end the video, I want to show you guys this little piece of paper that came with it. It says, was it, what was it, what doesn't belong? Find all three. And if you pause the video, you can take a closer look at this. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you to pause it. And now that you've unpaused it, if you did pause it, the three things that don't belong. The fish I found immediately, the flamingo I found immediately, the tree in the back that's shaped like a balloon kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop. So there you go. It's the tree, the flamingo, and the fish if you tried to actually find all three. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you did, be sure and press that like button. We have eight more videos to go. This is Zero, and as always, thank you for stopping by.